We are here tonight with Sean Carney and Robert Cahoon from 40 Days for Life. Sean, you run the a big part of running the branch here in the States. And Rob, in Britain, you're from the, the big, uh, across the big pond over there. It's good to have you over here. Thanks so much. It's really great to be here and a real blessing to be here for the March for Life. And I'm really excited to represent 40 Days for Life. We've got our next campaign on February the 13th. Um, yes. We're praying for an end to abortion and we're really excited. In England, we had our sixth campaign coming up on February the 13th. Really encourage everybody to get involved in the campaign. We've also got a book out which has just come out as well. It's a must read. When I started reading it, I couldn't put it down myself. It tells our story in England and 40 other stories from around the world of the 40 Days for Life campaign. Well, that's excellent. That's fantastic. And 40 Days for Life, you know, Sean, has been a pretty powerful thing in, in the States and also now over in England. And all over the world, people are watching and listening to this right now. What do we do now when the rallies are over? Because these, these moments, the energy, the excitement, very important for us to come together, let the church know. reunite, you know, you know, fist bumps and so forth, high fives, whatever you want to call it, prayer time together. But 364 days now before we meet again in something of this scope. We got work to do during that time. What do we do? We do. We have to go back to the local level, and that's why we have these vigils. It's been done now in 482 cities. We've had 40 Days for Life campaigns in 15 different countries, and it starts at the local level, the praying, the fasting, going out and participating in these peaceful vigils, and that's why we have these stories. That's why we've seen uh, nearly 7,000 moms choose life. We've had 75 abortion clinic workers uh, have a conversion and leave their job. 25 abortion facilities have closed. It starts and ends at the local level. We have to come here and get excited and be encouraged and hear the wonderful testimonies from the post aborted women and the, and the former workers. Uh, but ultimately, we have to go to our local communities, trust God, and take our country back. Right. And that's a great point. On that local level, starting with the locality of our own hearts and souls, the conversion of ourselves, you know, as the saying goes, well, how do we convert the world? Well, let's start by looking in the mirror with ourselves. And that is with prayer and fasting and these types of vigils. And, and we're finding that really, uh, when you're, you're talking about these numbers of abortion mills that are closing and uh, conversion of even the employees at these, uh, these, these abortion facilities, um, yet we see the reports of record number of taxpaying dollars, going, record number of taxpaying dollars going into Planned Parenthood, record number of abortions in the last year. So on this battlefield where these different areas, different fights are taking place, we are losing maybe ground in the tax paying and... and, and <laughs>